Let's meet the starters for the fourth race. Number one, High is Foxy Peggy, owned by Harvey Eisman of Flint, Michigan, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is in the bike. Number two, OG Strider is owned by Ed and Mary Leip of Sorrento, trained by David Martin, Dave Martin driving. Number three, Nancy New Mexico is owned and trained by Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. Tom Bussey of Kirkland, Illinois is the driver. The four is OG's Charlene, owned by Ryan Hallam of Albion, by Brandy Malloy of West Salem, trained and driven by Pat Malloy, Jr. Number five, Missy's Angel, owned by D and Ron Phillips of Petersburg, trained by Mike Rogers. The driver is Ron Marsh. Number six, Lucy Legend, owned by Bryce Geiler of Ken Mundy and Dick Corson of St. Peter, trained by Ray Hanna, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number seven is New Molly, owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tietrich of Jeff, Illinois, trained and driven by Tom Tietrich. Number eight, Sun Saray, a scratch. Number nine is Tootie Mouse, owned by Carol Reynolds of Springfield, trained by Jody Peacock. The driver is Dave McGee. And number 10, Emily Michelle, is scratched. Post time in less than five minutes on the first trifecta of the night. They are at the post and the gate is rolling for tonight's fourth event. Here they come. They are off and trotting. Missy's Angel for the lead. Nancy New Mexico is there between horses, and Nancy New Mexico drives up to get the advantage into the first turn. High's Foxy Peggy is right behind her. OG Charlene settles against the rail third. Missy's Angel is parked in fourth. OG Strider is fifth against the rail. A gap of four more lengths to New Molly than 2D Mouse and Lucy Legend is last. And High's Foxy Peggy has broken stride while racing in the second position and now drops out toward the back of the pack. 29-3 and three for the opening quarter. Nancy, New Mexico, leads at three parts of a length. Missy's Angel still parked, but moving up on the outside. Missy's Angel up to challenge Nancy, New Mexico for the top spot. OG Charlene tracks in behind them third. OG Strider is racing in fourth. New Molly is fifth. A gap of four more lengths back to Tootie Mouse, Lucy Legend, and High's Foxy Peggy is last. Missy's Angel, the unbeaten filly, is still parked on the outside. And now Nancy, New Mexico, fights back along the rail to regain the lead by a neck off a half in 59 and 3 fifth seconds. Missy's Angel now backs away into the second spot and drops over against the rail to catch a much-needed breather as they head toward the three quarters. OG Charlene is third. Now OG Strider moves past her on the outside into third, still four lengths off the lead, and they've all got to get Nancy, New Mexico. Nancy, New Mexico is on top for Tom Bussey by three lengths at the three-quarter mile mark, but OG Strider is closing in from the outside. Then OG Charlene, Missy's Angel facing the first defeat of her career career tonight, folks. She's dropping back and forth against the rail, three quarters and one thirty. As they turn for home, it's OG Strider to the front. New Molly swings wide on the grandstand side as they turn for home. New Molly out in the center of the track. OG Charlene between horses. They've all got to get OG Strider. OG Strider leads it by three, but New Molly is second. And then 2D Mouse on the grandstand side from third. Coming to the line, 2D Mouse is just gobbling up ground. 2D Mouse from far, far back to win the County Fair Challenge. 2D Mouse by two lengths. New Molly got second by a head over OG Strider, who finished in third. OG Charlene was fourth, Missy's Angel was fifth, and 201 flat. In the photo for place at DuCoin, number seven, New Molly was second, the two, OG Strider was third, and the four, OG Charlene was fourth. Folks coming from deep in the pack to win it, how about a hand for the County Fair Challenge champion and a new stakes record, 2D Mouse with Dave McGee. 201 flat knocks four fifths of a second off the stakes mark. The result is official 9724. Chuck Hartke, Director of Agriculture for the state of Illinois, makes the trophy presentation in the winner's circle. Jody Peacock, the winning trainer of this vaporized filly, stands at the head of this horse. Let's talk to our Director of Agriculture for the state of Illinois, Chuck Hartke. Chuck. First of all, 
you have quite a background in ag yourself. I know you're from Effingham County. That's big farming country. You have to be really excited about the challenges and the opportunities also that lie ahead for you and the entire staff at the Department of Ag. Well, that's absolutely true. You know, we're under uh, uh, different management this year in the state of Illinois, and we're trying our very best for uh, all of those involved in agriculture. Curtis, you know, one out of every four people in the state of Illinois are directly or indirectly related to uh, agriculture, either in the uh, raw production of it or the transportation and processing, uh, sales, merchandising, uh, all kinds of things. And so, uh, yeah, I'm excited about uh, being the director of agriculture. Folks, agriculture, very important to the folks in harness racing. They buy a lot of hay, a lot of grain, a lot of straw, and we depend on agriculture just like ag depends in part on us. And this man, Chuck Hartke, has been at the Brown County Fair at Mount Sterling. He was here last night. He was at the state fair several days. Folks, he's not only our director of ag, but he loves harness racing. How about a hand for the director of agriculture, Mr. Chuck Hartke?